Several hours after humanity disappears, lights all around the world will start to shut down, since most power stations work on fossil fuel. Without people, there won't be anybody to charge them, so they will stop. 48 hours after registering a sudden drop in energy consumption, nuclear power plants will switch to safety mode. Windmills will keep working until the lubricant runs out. Solar panels will also eventually become useless due to dust deposits. Nearly every region, except for the ones supplied by hydroelectric power stations, will have their power cut off. On the west of the United States, the generators of Hoover Dam are activated by the water flow from Lake Mead. Thus, it can be left unattended for several months or even years. Two or three days after we vanish from the planet, most metros in the world are going to be flooded because the pumps that protect them from the underground waters won't work without people. After 10 days, pets locked at home will start dying of starvation and dehydration. Billions of chickens and millions of cows, as well as other farm animals, will be dead. Those who manage to make their way out will enter a ruthless fight for survival. In the brutal world of real wildlife, there won't be a niche for decorative cat and dog breeds, and they will be the first to die out. Bulldog's short legs and terrier's small jaws are going to become their main, and quite likely deadly, disadvantages. A few weeks later, there won't be any small dog breeds left anymore. Big dogs will gather in packs and hunt down smaller breeds, as well as other animals. About a month after we disappear, all cooling water on nuclear power stations will have evaporated. This will lead to a series of explosions much stronger than the Fukushima and Chernobyl disasters. Millions of animals will die of cancer, but overall the planet will recover from the radioactive contamination rather fast and easily. One year after people disappear, strange stars will start to fall from the sky. During our space history, we took dozens of thousands of objects to the Earth's orbit. The highest satellites will fall after many years. After 25 years, three quarters or all squares and sidewalks will be covered with vegetation. Where there are plants, there are herbivorous animals, and where there is prey, there is always a predator. The surviving dogs will cross with the wolves that come to the former cities. Without us, the air will become much cleaner. In some cities, the visibility range will become several times longer. Cities like Dubai and Las Vegas will be buried in sand. The desert will take what belongs to it, so will all of nature. After 300 years, metal constructions such as the Eiffel Tower or steel bridges will start to break, since for all these years there won't be anybody around to paint and protect from corrosion. Steel rods in armed concrete will bloat up to three times of their initial thickness, and the last tall buildings will go down. Vast swamps, which formerly occupied America, will reappear and hundreds of bird and animal species will return to their unfairly taken home. Large marine animals will also be very glad not to see us. In the absence of humans, whales will thrive and reproduce to the maximum of the ocean's capacity to feed them. After 10,000 years, the only reminiscence that people were here someday will be the remains of a few stone constructions, among which the pyramids in Egypt and the Great Wall of China. Mount Rushmore National Memorial will be there almost intact for several hundreds of thousands of years. In 50 million years, plastic bottles and pieces of broken glass will be the last traces of our civilization. In another 50 million years, they will be gone as well. As you can see, our planet is quite sturdy and can get rid of all of our trash. If after 300 million years or later there will be a new rational species, they might not even notice there was a civilization before. So, our planet can perfectly do without us, but we can't without her. Save the planet.